Shemai and welcome to Bitcoin Golf Break, the show which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the markets which may be affecting it. The price of Bitcoin is $8,700 on the head. It's had a high of $8,846 and a low of $8,688. It is flat, as we said would happen yesterday. Um, all those traders who traded the ascending triangle, which was a very clear and obvious trade, um, not that you should have a trade short term, but it, it was pretty obvious that it was going to go up and then go flat. Um, it, it's gone up. Traders have taken their profits. Um, it has gone flat. It, it could have actually gone down because obviously traders are selling their Bitcoin. Um, but this would mean that there's lots of people. There's an upward momentum from people just buying Bitcoin and then a downward momentum from traders just trading it you know, on the shorter term for that ascending triangle. So uh, I would say there's still bullish momentum behind Bitcoin. The very fact that it's flat and it's not going down. Um, but I could be wrong and it could go down further. Uh, but I think it's going to be a few days until we test that 9,000 uh, barrier and, and Goku. Um, so let's have a look at the news feed, shall we? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Technical indicators align, confirm Bitcoin bull market. Yeah. Uh, cryptocurrency market update, Bitcoin hovers under $8,800, altcoins moving. That will be, by altcoins, it's the probably for into shitcoins, and that will be because they're, they're probably pumping their bags. You know, the, the owners of those shit coins, because they are centralized, are pumping their bags to try and get people to, um, to or pumping the price to try and get people to, to buy their bags for them. So don't get caught in that trap. Um, very dangerous markets out there at the moment. Bitcoin price hit 30,000K. Yeah, so people making their um, over the top Bitcoin price predictions. Uh, that makes me feel a little bit bearish, to be fair. It's like, you know, that's saying that you should buy when everyone's, you know, um, feeling negative about the market and then sell when everyone's feeling positive about the market. So to me, then it kind of feels like we should be selling at this point. But I think if we were going to hit 30,000, then it would be off the back of like an ETF thing. Um, and that could easily send the price up to a quarter of a million. So uh, if you're going to make claims on, 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 on price predictions and at least make them you know really ridiculous and over the top. Uh, Bitcoin price consolidating, prime to break 9K. Bitcoin price analysis, consolidation above 8,700, moves towards 9,700 bullish target. China provides official clarity on holding Bitcoin and P2P OTC trading. We're going to have a look at that article in a moment because uh, that's actually quite important uh, because all these Asian uh, stock traders who are a bit nervous about the markets because of the US and Asian trade war. Um, and, and the tensions, so it's nice for them to have some clarity over whether if, if they put their money into Bitcoin, what, what you know, if there's any legal ramifications. So we're going to have a look at that article in a moment. Litecoin, Litecoin's $114, had a high of $118 and a low of $113. It's doing the same as Bitcoin, it's just flatlining. It's still in that, you know, channel, uh, in the top part of that channel, which has been building over the, the past couple of months. So it has got a little bit further to go down, but it's just doing this. It's just mirroring Bitcoin. Ethereum's at $271, had a high of $276 and a low of $267.5. Um, it's flat as well. It's just flat line. It's, it's mirroring Bitcoin's price um, uh, exactly. So it's just very much riding off the tail coat of Bitcoin and everyone's waiting to see what Bitcoin will do. Monero, Monero's at $97.3. It's had a high of $98.8. Four dollars and a low of ninety-seven dollars. Uh, Monero has gone flat, but it's also just just creeped up a little bit more there. So I'm not sure why that is. Maybe there's some um, Monero-centric good news which happened, which maybe got people excited about Monero. Um, but that's that's still on its uh, on its in, in its upward channel. It's got a bit more of a, an arc going to it than than Litecoin has. Um, maybe a little bit more like um, um, Ethereum's arc, I guess, as it's as it's as it moves upward. Um, but I mean on a yeah yeah it's, it's still it's still bullish it's still bullish but we are at the top top end of the, the channel it's, it's kind of built so it, it could go down uh, gold what's going on with gold so gold's at 1,283 it's had a high of 1,286 and low of 1,283.2 um, so yeah you're, you're in big markets like gold with high, high uh, liquidity you don't get big price moves and that one day will happen to Bitcoin. So enjoy the crazy price volatility while you can. Um, also, God's got all those utility values, which Bitcoin's yet to find, but it will find, and that'll, that'll make the price a little bit steadier too. Um, so let's have a look at the news feed, shall we? Gold prices is edged down despite intensifying trade tensions. So yeah, so in, in the short term here, we've, we've uh, edged down despite the trade tensions, which isn't good for gold, because as gold's main use is, is an opt-out for markets. 
um, and people aren't using it for that. We have got this descending wedge thing going on um, uh, and that looks looks to be yeah um, still being played out. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, gold price prediction, price is consolidated over US holiday, uh, blah, blah, blah. Gold up to one week high mid risk aversion on quiet day. So I suppose that was over the weekend. Um, Price of gold fundamental daily forecast will rally if Fed starts to discuss uh, rate cut. So the gold books are still waiting for that bit, that gold rally. Um, they're always waiting for that gold rally, but they're, they're waiting for yeah, they're waiting for gold rally. And the the, the trade tensions and the, the drop in the stock markets aren't providing it at the moment clearly. S and P five hundred. So the S and P five hundred is um, flattening out, uh, giving traders a little uh, breather, probably before. Uh, more lows or in saying that maybe it could be consolidating to, to go back up um, uh, yeah yeah no, that, that, it, it, it could it could could go could go back up let's have a look at the news feed shall we uh, Asian shares up in muted trading after Trump visits to Japan uh, okay um, well, that's interesting so the Asian uh, uh, stocks are up and uh, Euro, uh, um, the S&P 500 is, is flat as well so uh, maybe maybe some of the stock bears have, have, have lost their momentum and it's time for the bulls to, to come back. Uh, Europe stocks firm on EU elections. Oh, so we've had the EU elections, so that's had an effect um, on the on the stocks as well, I imagine. Um, lots of the sorts of uh, people who businesses like, like the more kind of far right, you know, uh, business friendly parties have done quite well in the elections but then in saying that a lot of like more extreme left have done well too so um yeah so i think it's yeah we'll, we'll see what happens on the in the, the s&p 500 um uh, come back to it tomorrow it looks flat tomorrow at the moment so really, there's no real um indicators going on maybe uh well i suppose there's like a a descending flag maybe um, but i wouldn't like to say it's quite yeah it's maybe a little bit too big for a descending flag so uh, let's have a look at Bitcoin Reddit, see how Bitcoin Reddit's doing today. It's all just bullish stuff, you know, uh, memes and, um, and just like that, we started talking about moon and lampos again. Yeah, it's true. Um, uh, but I mean, the, the actual community of Bitcoiners was quite small um, and we're all feeling pretty downtrodden. So um, the, the community was small and the Bitcoin price was still pretty high. So uh now we're having all these new people coming in that's a lot of new money flooding in so that's what's pushing the price up um yeah so yeah videos of rockets and uh just a couple of goku memes so not much going on there there's a video here on ant rooting for lightning that looks pretty cool obviously we've got the lightning hack day at the end of this week i'll be going to that that's in munich so um yeah i'll have a look at that video later should be interesting so yeah it's all bull 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 uh, FOMO um, uh, per threads at the moment. So here we go. Uh, China provides official uh, clarity on holding Bitcoins and P2P OTC trading. So the official clarity is that its um, ICOs are still prohibit prohibited, uh, but Bitcoin um, and buying and selling over the counter is legal and is allowed and you're allowed to hold Bitcoin. So um, all those Bitcoiners and all those people, all those traders in China now, they now know that by holding Bitcoin, they're not breaking the law, which you don't really want to do in China. So that's a good thing. Um, and that may have a positive effect on, on the Bitcoin price. We'll have a look uh, over the next 24 hours. But I think that's really interesting news, particularly in the current economic cri uh, climate. Um, bull market bull market not confirmed until bitcoin breaks above 11,700 where bear market began so this is an article and they're just saying that um bitcoin tested 11,700 uh sort of yeah just under 1200 uh, a couple of times on its way down from its highs and it couldn't break through um so it tested it three times so this report doesn't want to say that the bull market's in until it breaks that uh, resistance zone. Um, I, I, I don't think it's that important a number, but you know, they do. So it would be interesting to see if Bitcoin makes it up to that and then breaks through. Um, cause I, I suppose if people are talking about this, then it will give some traders some reason to buy more Bitcoin. So could be good for Bitcoin. Computer researcher finds wallet vulnerability that gave same key to multiple key users. So sorry to multiple users. So the online paper wallet, wallet generator.net, uh, the, the um, random number, it's always random number generators which are the problem, 
but it used a number to generate your private key and that number had to be random but that number wasn't random which meant it was generating the same private key for multiple users potentially uh, so this is another reason why you shouldn't trust you know an online paper wallet you should uh, buy yourself a trezor or buy yourself a hardware wallet um, uh, it's, it's, you're just safer so it's, I, know it, I know it looks like a lot of money like $100 for one but honestly if you lose your Bitcoin then that sucks even more um, so yeah the researcher who was blah 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 my crypto uh, Harry De Denley from my crypto so well done to him on the on the project he did like a batch uh, generation of a thousand private keys and um, there are only 120 unique private keys so uh, if people have used this service to secure their funds, then they should, could be sharing their private key with other people, which is obviously not ideal. Um, so users are um, advised to take their funds uh, out of their paper wallets and put them into um, you know, a hardware wallet or put them somewhere safer. So on that note, look after your Bitcoins. The price is still going up. It could go down, but it's going to take a few days to go coup. Um, that's Tuesday, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow and I hope you have a good Tuesday.